that nagging voice in your head telling you you can't is the biggest obstacle between you and your dreams. But what if you could silence that voice and unleash your full potential? Today, we're going to dive into four separate strategies that will turn self-doubt into unstoppable confidence on your journey to this dream life that you're looking for in the future. So if you feel like you're being held back by this nagging voice that's inside of you, keeping you from achieving your dreams, this is going to be the right episode for you. So stay tuned. In order to live an extraordinary and abundant life, you must focus on your internal battle and win within. My name is Randy Wilson, and welcome to the Rich Mind Podcast. All right, welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. And first off, let me express a ton of gratitude for you spending your time with me here on the episode. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to bring a ton of value into your life today. And that's always the goal here on the Rich Mind Podcast. So let's dive in. So at the very beginning there, I talked about four different strategies that are going to help you eliminate that self-doubt, the, the the feelings and the thoughts of that you can't and that you shouldn't. Uh, there, it's what's keeping you held back. It's what's been kept me held back for so long. Uh, I've actually just in the last few days again, I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with some self-doubt once again. And a lot of times for me, it starts to stem from when I start to attach meaning. So in an episode or two ago of, uh, of, an L of a uh, solo episode that I did a few uh, episodes ago, I talked about attaching meaning and how doing that is keeping you or keeping me from achieving greater things in my life. So what has happened or what is happening currently in my life is that I'm not necessarily seeing different results in different areas of my life. It's not necessarily financial. It can be with my relationships. It can be with business. It can be just different areas of my life. I always feel like I should be further doing more, having more. And when I don't see the results that I feel like I should have based on the meaning that I'm attaching to those results, that's usually when I start to dive down this rabbit trail of self-doubt. Uh, it starts to creep into my mind. Uh, it's usually one thought turns into another. And then once again, it just starts to stack. I've talked about how a lot of times I'll get triggered. And when I, those triggers start to stack one on top of the other, one negative thought leads to another, to another feeling, to another doubt, to another worry, to another, to the point where it just, and I end up usually just shutting down and I don't get anything accomplished. So you're, if you're anything like me, uh, you're probably struggling from the same types of things. And so that's where today I want to talk about the four areas that I'm trying to implement in my life in real time to try to bring myself out of this spiral of self-doubt that if you can do this for yourself, I would believe, because it's happened for me, but I would believe you will be able to uh, achieve greater things moving forward in your life. So let's dive into those four areas today. So the first, number one, is awareness. You need to become aware of the, the doubt, those thoughts that are going on in your mind. When you start having those ideas of that you can't or that you shouldn't, or you start questioning why, why are you not receiving X, Y, Z, whatever result you're looking for? Why are you not having someone respond to an email? Why are you not having someone uh, reach out to you when you feel like you should have? Uh, why did a friend do a certain thing to you or a family member, something like that. When those thoughts start to creep into your mind, number one, you need to become aware of them. And when you become aware, that's when you're going to be able to gain control. I talk a lot about, uh, journaling here on the podcast. And that's one thing that I do for myself. And I'm still going to recommend that you do that for yourself as well. So for example, today, uh, as I'm starting to deal with a little bit of this, personal self-doubt. I'm journaling about that. I'm trying to bring out where that's coming from, bring out why it's happening. Uh, as I mentioned, a lot of times it's, it's because of meaning that I've attached to an outcome that I'm not either, I don't feel like I'm receiving or getting as much as I should, uh, or it's just, it just spirals me out of control in my own mind, thinking that I should be doing more, having more, when in terms of if I could just relax, become aware, that will allow me then to work through this period of self-doubt so that I can get to the other side and keep moving forward. So the next thing, once we, we become aware, is we need to reframe the trigger. Let me say that again. We need to reframe the trigger. 
So what happens for me, as I mentioned, is I get triggered by a thought, by uh, something in my outside experience. So uh, let's just use an example of I'm not receiving an email or a response back from an email from a potential client or a potential uh, partner or even just a friend. Uh, and I'm not receiving that response back as quickly as I feel like I should. When that happens, that begins a trigger that begins a thought process of maybe I should do this, or maybe I shouldn't have said what I said in the email, or maybe uh, they don't want to work with me or, or, you know, you see where I'm going with those, those thoughts. Those are the ideas. or those are the things that happen to me. So what I want you to do is reframe them and what you can do. And what I'm trying to do is realize that people out in your outside environment, they're busy. Everybody is busy. Everybody is working on their own thing, including myself, including you. And so you need to reframe that and realize that just because you're not receiving the outcome that you feel like you deserve or should have at that moment doesn't mean anything negative about you. You need to try to turn that feeling of thought or that feeling and thought of negativity and self-doubt and reframe it and realize that you are doing the best you possibly can. You are showing up, you're doing the best work that you possibly can do. And because of that, you need to be happy and proud in the present moment from where you're at and stop being worried about a future outcome that may or may not be exactly what you're looking for at that time. Just because you're, you think that you need that or should have that doesn't mean that that's what is needed at that moment in your life. So for example, these uh, potential friends or these clients that I'm, I'm reaching out to, and I'm not necessarily getting the response back that I feel like I should, I just need to realize that have I done everything that I can up to that point? And if that answer is yes, then I need to let the outcome go and quit worrying about it so much. And that's exactly what I'm going to do moving forward with this bout of self-doubt that I'm dealing with right now. Moving on to number three, we're going to work towards and affirm how we feel about ourselves and affirm that we are perfect in every way that we possibly can be. If you're showing up and you're giving as much value as you possibly can to your friends, to your family, to your coworkers, to your community, to yourself, you're doing the best that you possibly can. You've heard me talk about several times on the, on the podcast about your I am statements and your affirmations. You need to affirm that you are whatever it is that you want to be. You are strong. You are powerful. You are smart. You are valuable. Affirm those things to yourself through, you don't need to, to say anything out loud. It can all be within yourself, right? It's your own thoughts. It's your own ideas. But once you get yourself aware, you begin to reframe and then you start to affirm to yourself that you are great in every way, shape or form, that you are working as hard as you possibly can to add as much value to the community, to your work, to your family as you possibly can. When you start to affirm those things to yourself, that's going to help you bridge that gap. So that's what I've done for myself. Even just today, I went on my morning walk I didn't take anything with me, meaning I didn't even take my phone, didn't take uh, earbuds or anything like that. And I was just walking around, hanging, having a conversation with myself, affirming who I am, affirming what it is that I want, what it is I desire. And because of that, it allowed me to get through a lot of this negative self-doubt that's been creeping in my mind here the last few days. Uh, over the next few days is going to be crucial to make sure that I continue that. And so that's where it's a never ending process. But when you have the opportunity, begin to affirm the positive outlook, the positive things that you have for yourself about yourself to yourself. And I promise you, you're going to start seeing some positive results coming from that as well. And then the last step is to visualize. So I did this today as well. So once you affirm and you get yourself more in a positive state, you're going to catch yourself obviously with the awareness, you're going to begin to reframe, and then you're going to then affirm what it is, who you are, what you're trying to become. And then I want you to visualize this future that you desire. Now I want you to visualize it in as much detail as you possibly can. Uh, sit in a quiet place, uh, doesn't have to be anything fancy, uh, just be alone. Uh, is with as little noise as you possibly can. Try to, to eliminate your your distractions uh, on your phone. Uh, make sure if you're with someone, family, family or friends or anything in your uh, current home, 
make sure they understand that, hey, I'm going to go spend just a few minutes. It doesn't have to be hours. It can be five to 10 minutes. Sit with yourself and just visualize the future that you truly want. Understand that this self-doubt that's creeping into your mind is trying to rob from this future that you truly, that you truly desire. And if you can sit with yourself, visualize this future, I promise you, it's going to be the beginning of just reframing, reprogramming that subconscious mind and make it understand and realize that you are moving forward. You are doing as good as you possibly can. You're doing fantastic. And if you can just keep pushing forward, uh, have the discipline to keep doing the ba the basics, the simple basics uh, for yourself, for your family, for your community. If you can continue to, to do that on a, a consistent basis, that's where the positive things are going to continue to show up in your mind and in your outside 3D environment. So folks, hopefully you found the message valuable today. Uh, the idea is that I'm currently working through a little bit of self-doubt myself. And so I'm trying to think of different things that I'm doing for myself that uh, I could share with you here on the podcast. Uh, these are steps that I'm going through literally as we speak, I went through a lot of these and just these steps, just uh, even today, over yesterday and today, I've gone through these four steps. So let me just re recap what those steps are real quick. Uh, the first one is to become aware. So when your self-doubt starts to creep in, start having those ideas that I, I can't or I shouldn't, uh, keeping you from moving forward. Uh, the first step is to become aware that it's happening to you. Number two is you're going to reframe that trigger. And we talked about that and hit rewind and, and listen to that part of the episode. If you want to learn more about the reframing, uh, number step three, is we're going to move into affirming. We're going to affirm that you are doing a great job and you are a great person and that you are achieving the great things that you want in your life. And then the fourth step is we're going to visualize. We're going to visualize this future that we want to have come true in our life with as much detail as we possibly can. So go out there. Have a fantastic day. Uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing this episode with your family and friends, if you feel like it would be of value to them, I would greatly appreciate it. The idea of the Rich Mind Podcast is I'm trying to share real world examples, things that I'm working on and with uh, in real time, literally, that I hopefully will help you move some of the struggles and challenges that you might have in your own life. Uh, trying to find as many uh, great guests I can bring on also to share different stories, different ideas that I think will be super valuable to you as well. So if you wouldn't mind leaving me a five-star review on the podcast platform of your choice, if you feel like I've deserved it, I would greatly appreciate that as well. And as I mentioned, please share this with your family and friends. That would be fantastic. So as I mentioned, go out there, have a fantastic day. I look forward to coming back with another episode again very soon. Until then. Bye now. Thank you for joining me on the Rich Mind Podcast. And remember, your external world is a reflection of what's going on inside of you. So focus every day on that internal battle and win within. Until next time, my friends.